The electronics package for all Komatsu-5 excavators is pretty much the same. In this model, located behind the seat on the right hand side, are two flip out mirrors that allow you to look at the displays shown from the computers. The right side display is for the engine throttle control computer. The display on the left is for the engine pump controller. More on that later. The monitor panel communicates with both controllers. In this case we're changing the modes. That will also change the display on the pump control. Cycling through it in the L mode. Go to the S3 mode. The S2 mode where the engine starts and then again to the high, high mode H1. Notice also below there's H, S and L. Those change the outputs or power positions on the pump engine combination. The low high mode on this panel is for the two speed travel. That also will shift itself down when it comes under a high load. also have indicators when a function is operated. Pressure switches in the system tell the computer that something's being operated and it needs to change a setting or, or position. In this case the boom is being lowered. Sticks being run out and back in and the buckets being moved. All these would show a P2 signal on the pump controller. If you're operating those things and that display doesn't show up, that tells you there's likely a problem in that switch or the wiring to it. Travel control usually throw, sh throws a P6 code. Indicates the switch is working. So the various functions within the machine control system will, will change when you're in travel mode. Machine does have diagnostics in the package. It's shown in the, this part. The 2-4 in there is a code indicating that a pump pressure sensor isn't working properly or isn't connected properly. The flashing dot in the display indicates that the speed sensor is working properly. As the engine goes faster, that dot will flash faster. In these models, there's 30 possible combinations of fault codes you can see. They range from nothing on the monitors all the way up to number 30. When the problem is fixed, the fault code will go away without having to be reset. Hopefully now you have enough information to start troubleshooting any problems you might come up with. Thanks for watching.